Oh, look at that, it's perfect. <laughs> Yo, what's happening, people? Welcome back to another video. I'm T2 Sugars, Welsh graffiti artist, and I am at Lanish High School. We're going to be doing this six form common room. Another thing. I can actually call myself a graffiti artist today because this section here is going to be some graffiti letters. So I'm gonna enhance my graffiti writer deep down inside and we're gonna be putting in graffiti letters sixth form because this is the sixth form area. Going alongside that is gonna be some landmarks to do with Cardiff. They are Roth Park, Principality Stadium, Cardiff Castle and Cardiff Bay. So I'm now gonna embrace my graffiti right there and get some first lines up on you. Let's go! So Major Boo Boo just happened. Uh, I've gone a little bit big. I haven't gone a bit big. It's that they're trying to fill the blinking black area with the letters. In my head, it was a lot more like an A4 piece of paper kind of size. What I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to take this and move it over and then put the word form there. So it'll be sixth form, not sixth form like I wanted. So yeah, it's a bit of a waste of time. Just need to move all everything over and just all start again. Let's go. So major boo-boo of the day, I have fixed the letters I first done, but I forgot to record it. Cause I am an absolute nugget when it comes to filming. I always forget to press record. But this jumbled up mess now makes sense to me. So that is all marked out. I would love to jump in and paint that. Gonna go mark out some scenery stuff there and there. So wish me luck. Oh well, hello there. This is T2 Sugars here. I just want to point out the fact that the lighting in this room is absolutely terrible and most of the video is gonna look pretty dark. I think there was a shortage of bulbs in the school and there was nothing I could do about it. But I hope you stick around for the rest of the video. Thank you. Oh yes, so get a little bit carried away. I was supposed to just be putting in the sky next and started doing my letters. I'm quite enjoying it, really fun. I'm not sure if they're any good. They look quite cool to me. Obviously, like I've, I've studied art, I've studied graph, like, you know, I know what's going on. But, you know, for simple letters, we've got the I and the T sitting on top of the X and then the H and the S sitting a bit further back. Obviously, I was going to try and do that similar thing with the form. So I'm going to drop the O behind, have the F on top and the R on top, and then the R on top of the M. So I hope that makes sense to everybody that does graffiti letters. Um, I don't know if I'm butchering this, but it is what it is. That's how I'm doing it. So that is my update. Mission log done. Bye. been one hell of a day. We've got all my letters in. They look pretty cool. I'll show you guys at the end with that. But next, I'm going to be moving on to this area, which is Roth Park, and hopefully get in Cardiff Castle in some shape or form. But I'm just need to 
crack on with that next. I was going to do the buildings first, but I got a bit excited and uh, I decided to do the letters first. So, yeah. Um, but, yeah. So that's what I'm doing. I'm doing that next. And I'm a little bit tired, and that's why I'm just going to ramble on and just put my hand over the screen and just going to carry on what we think. one done i've done roth park like i said i was gonna do just in the middle of putting in the shadows of cardiff castle that will all be done tomorrow i'm gonna get out of here now see you in two seconds one two Phew. we are back for day two i am a very tired because children did not want to sleep and i mean children i mean this one right here and her sister as well her sister's gonna crash i've had to look after her today but we've got in and done an hour, I forgot to press record, and I thought I'd come and say hello to you guys on day two. So, Roth Park has gone in already, Cardiff Castle's gone in, near enough all finished. Gotta add some real dark uh, low lights and a little tiny bits of highlight. But we've got the roof to do here, and then I'm moving on to the other side. But it's all looking funky fresh. Um, oh, and he knocked the camera over. While I am painting this section here, I'm gonna answer some of the questions from a Q and A that I put up on my Instagram. So first one would be from Millie Louise Thirty. What got you into spray painting? So what got me into spray painting was I dropped out of sixth form and went to college. Then when I went to college, I did art and design because my friend uh, Robert Reese said to me. You're gonna draw in when you go to college and do art. So that's what I did. I went to college to do art. I then went to London on a trip and I saw a Banksy piece. I know, typical, but it wasn't the Banksy piece that got me into graffiti. It was a gallery that we happened to stumble upon whilst in London called Moo Tate. Now the big art gallery in London is called the Tate Modern or the Tate. This was a bootleg or a rip-off version of it called Mutate and in this gallery it was full of street art and that is what caught my eye in getting into all of this spray paint stuff back in 2008 I believe or 2000 yeah 2008 and since then I've been painting ever since my spray painting career is spanned over 14 years I've painted here there and absolutely everywhere and that is what was the key moment to get me into spray painting. So great question there from Millie. Secondly, uh, from Mr. C, we have how many cameras do you have on at each time? So normally I have about three. So I have a time-lapse camera, the camera I'm talking to now, which is a GoPro 10, and I have a camera on my head. So it's three cameras, and I have a little drone as well to get some of the big shots if I need that. But yeah, three cameras. And then we have one from uh, Smoke1SME. Will you do a name exchange with me? Currently, I'm in the middle of doing a, a massive name exchange called The Secret Writer. So hopefully after that, I might have a little bit of time and I will hit you up and we could do a name exchange. Then lastly, this question is from Lee Bertatonacini. Uh, 94, I'll put your name down there just in case I butchered it. Um, what mask would you recommend on using for spray paint? Personally, it doesn't really matter what mask you get. It's just a, a respirator is probably the best. Then it's the cartridges that you actually put in the filters. They, I use these brown ones and you can get the other ones then which have a yellow, green and brown line. They both do the same things. Uh, I'm not really clued up on the masks per se, but I wear either, I wear 3M ones um, and I don't seem to have many problems with, with the cartridges. The filters are pretty expensive, 
demo questions. Thank you for everyone who sent them in. If you do have any other questions on regards to anything I do, pop them in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer them. Hope you guys enjoy the video. And yes, I'm all done here at Lanish High School in the sixth form area. To all the pupils that are coming in to do your A-levels this year and your AES levels, I hope you all the best your futures and here is the final result. I'd love to know your thoughts on my graffiti letters, if I am absolute toy or not. Do you drop me a comment down below. Let me know what you think, if it's too basic or I should just not bother doing letters ever again. And if you guys like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.